Another uh, exclusive story that's on the front page of the Australian newspaper, and this relates uh, to this ongoing story around uh, the Sri Lankan couple and their children, of course, uh, Nades and Priya, uh, who are currently on Christmas Island uh, awaiting possible deportation back to Sri Lanka. Well, Amanda Hodge, the reporter from The Australian, is in Sri Lanka and has interviewed uh, the mother of uh, the man, uh, Nades, who is uh, facing deportation. Now, interesting quotes that come from her, Gen Genevieve, in this story. Uh, she has told the newspaper that uh, Nades and uh, Priya, she says, they both have faced a lot of troubles here. We have spent so many years fearing he could be taken at any time or arrested. We are still worrying about that. Since he was in the LTTE, that threat will always be there for him because the government is scared they will regroup. The Tamil Tigers, of course, she's talking about there. We have spent our lives worrying about him. We don't want to go back to that again. So they're fascinating comments from the mother of that man who was sought asylum here in Australia. Of course, that asylum claim has been rejected. Uh, but uh, Genevieve, what do you think the reaction will be to this story on the front page of the Australian newspaper tomorrow? Mm, it, it's a story that's garnered a lot of reaction and it's quite a polarising issue in that. But I think that you can see that there's been a groundswell of support to keep this family here in Australia. And as this mother said in these comments from her hometown, um, home country in Sri Lanka, she doesn't want her son and his new family to come home because she fears for their safety. She says that she spent her whole life worrying about him. And the devastating thing is that she probably thought that she could stop worrying once he made it to Australia, set up his life here with his wife and their two children that were born in Australia. Yet now she's, this worry has uh, resurfaced and she's even more concerned that if he does come back, he may find... Um, he may be in danger. Now, a court has found that that is not the case, but you can't deny this mother's uh, anguish at the possibility that, that that might occur if him and his family are returned. Yeah, I think the other point uh, that can't be denied, the point you made there, that we have seen uh, a groundswell uh, of support, lots of public support offered to this family. But uh, as for the numbers, well, there is an interesting news poll that is next to that story on the front mm -hmm. page of the Australian newspaper, Scott Emerson, uh, in, that relates directly to this issue. And that uh, news poll says that most Australians believe that asylum seekers deemed not to be refugees should be deported regardless of other considerations. A news poll survey found 64% believed asylum seekers considered by the courts to not be refugees should be deported, with 24% saying they should be allowed to say. What do you reckon, Scott? Is that uh, pretty much uh, uh, an accurate refre reflection, do you think, of how the Australian public feels on this issue? Well, 64% is a, is a very high number. Um, you are seeing, obviously, a lot of protests out there, a lot of community feeling about this. A lot of, of, of action on, on social media. Barnaby Joyce coming out about it. But it's interesting to see this news poll figure which shows that people are saying, look, they've gone through the court processes, they haven't been found to be refugees, they shouldn't be allowed to stay. And that is the, 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 the argument also being put forward by Scott Morrison. And it's interesting to see them tomorrow's Australian, that news poll figure, coming just a day after today's news poll in terms of the, the political parties and the significant drop in support for Anthony Albanese as the leader of the Labor Party. His, his honeymoon is well and truly over. He's gone into the negative, seen a very big drop. And one of the, the, the commentators was saying about this, look, is that because Albanese was saying when he came in, look, look, we're going to keep a very strong border policy, but suddenly in that, uh, as this poll was being taken, you saw him going out to Billa Wheeler and saying, no, we should let, look, let this family stay. And there was some commentators saying, look, that drop, is directly related to the fact that Albanese seems to have done a, a backflip in terms of his, his, his stance on refugees. So this number, coming on top of the, the news poll in today's paper, is quite significant, I think. Yeah, I think you're 100% right there, Scott. I don't think uh, Anthony Albanese played his cards particularly well on that issue last week. It was interesting to see in question time today, he really had dropped that issue and really was trying to focus in on the issue of the government's handling of the economy. But really, he did uh, mess that up last week. And I think you're right, that did uh, play out in those poor news poll results that we did see. We're